right. I think we are on. Let's see. Yep. Looks like it. Hopefully that's, uh, that's sounding all right for some of you. Maybe. No idea. Oh boy. <laughs> Tonight is gonna be fascinating. I have a budding headache right now. So, uh, it's just gonna be me against, uh, against my ego that is trying to burst, burst from my head right now. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. It's gonna be, gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Monday. It's a fun day. It's a Monday. It's a lovely day indeed. But with all Ooh. Oh man. Oh great. I probably I probably activated the uh, the yawning bug in some of you. My apologies. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Well Well, that's just how it is. That's just how it is. We gotta yawn all day. We're gonna yawn all day. <laughs> ah, God, that was cringe. All right. I guess that's how we're starting things. Guys, gals, and pals, welcome. Welcome to the Monday stream. And for those of you on YouTube, hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining. And, well, it's now about time we just jump right into, into the game here, shall we? I mean... Well, maybe not so, but first things first. Oh god, did I just burp in mid mid uh yes I did. Oh gosh. Disgusting <laughs> First of all, happy belated Father's Day to everybody. It was uh yesterday was a fantastic day for for me and my dad. Well, fantastic. I I had to do a lot of technological um uh torture on myself, of course, but <laughs> Yesterday was certainly a fantastic time. Uh, you know, got got a bit of bonding time between me and my dad. And mom even, my mom even prepared uh, quite the seafood buffet. I mean, we, not only did we had fried shrimp, all right? We had a frickin' tuna steak, which is, god damn it, that's expensive in a nutshell. But boy, is it worth it. But on top of that, we had mussels. And I never had mussels before, so I tried them. Pretty damn good, honestly. I never knew that, uh... I never knew mussels to be that good to begin with. I was always very apprehensive about trying stuff, and yet there we go. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I mean, technology was the majority of my Sunday. Uh, me and my dad were just buying new shit. <laughs> that's, that's all we were doing. Oh boy, and it took uh, it took a long time to do all those purchases too. Just uh, you know, some stuff was quick, other stuff was slow, and other things just went by without a hitch. <laughs> if I'm gonna if I'm gonna yawn mid sentence, I might as I might as well just carry on with it. Yes. <laughs> All right, all right. Before we uh, before we actually jump into the game, let me just go ahead and take a shameless drink right here because oh my god, I need the H two O right now. Hmm. Oh man, that also reminded me of uh, speaking of drinks. Well, I guess we're just gonna go ahead and make sure everything is working in the game here. Okay, I think that is working just fine. You guys can go ahead and let me know in the chat if you guys can hear the audio or not. Obviously, Elden Ring doesn't really have a lot of music to begin with, but, uh, you know, uh, things things will work out. So, where, where the hell are we? We're in Jarburg, mostly because I think uh, Dialos uh, decided to move here, if I recall correctly, but nevertheless, uh, yeah, here we are, here we are, we're gonna, we're just gonna make sure we got some storylines, uh, to wrap up and, uh, carry on, yeah, sounds great, yeah, sounds, sounds pretty good to me, dog. 
Those awful poachers. I hope Uncle Alexander beats them all up. Those awful... Okay, so our jar friend doesn't really have anything to say, it seems. Uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. God damn, it's dark in here. Oh, okay, no. Dialos isn't actually here yet. I thought he was, uh... I thought he was already here. Nope. Nope, apparently not. <laughs> uh, that's... That's certainly, uh... Surprising, to say the very least. So where the hell is Dialos? I, uh... I ain't got a fudging clue. Oh, there he is. There he blows. Ah. It's you, is it? I'm terribly sorry. But would you mind giving me some time to myself? I haven't achieved anything at all thus far. Even though I've dirtied my hands time and time again, I'm still yet to achieve anything. Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. As things stand, I've given up on the path of revenge and sullied the name of my house. What an easy mark I must have been. How did it take me so long to realize? Honor, there's just no end to my foolishness, is there? Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. What an easy mark I must have been. Okay, so, I think that's everything for Dialos. We just need to reset the area and then continue on with that. And we have beautiful little Zorias. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this play out before I start talking about my own, my own day, uh, my own weekend. And then I want to hear from you guys how your weekends went and your Father's Day, if any. Um, if you do think about that at any rate. Anywho! Brave Tarnished. What is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness, am I still a serpent? Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. Oh, forgive my distress. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual, despite this appearance. Brave Tarnished, this is my true form. My real name is Zorias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. Lady Tanith is my mother. I am told I was born by the grace of a glorious king. That my mother cherishes this form I inhabit. I am proud of what I am, but people are cruel. If they saw my true form, they wouldn't speak to me. And so I assume a guise when seeking new recruits. But you are not like the rest. My serpent are the secrets, known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe from anyone else. Oh boy, if there is one thing about the Volcano Manor, is that, well, once you've played this place so many times, it's, uh, it gets a tad repetitive. If you follow the- It cannot- Did you see her? The girl, Raya, with her true face. Hmm. Well, if she confided in me the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place to speak. But, as her adoptive mother- I ask of you, please, be kind to her. Look after young Zarias. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Honestly, I hardly deserve this sweet child. Please, her true visage... Alright. I believe that's all the dialogue we can get for now. Now, unless we want to... Well, hold on. Let's go ahead and make sure... Ah, we're gonna go ahead and make sure Mr. Mr. Dialos is gonna go ahead and teleport somewhere else. And here comes Mr. Falker. Hempberry, how's it going? <laughs> uh, okay, so Dialos is still... It's just as my noble brother says. I'm a complete fool. I can't believe I thought I could become a champion. I did not know Dialos would say that. 
Not really. Perhaps I am a fool. No. What and then, you, Mark? I must have. And then he just repeats that dialogue again. Hey, how are you? Fantastic. After, after, such a brilliant weekend, and also you know, you know, having a bonding time with my father on Father's Day, and of course, mom creating a seafood buffet as well. Like, yeah. Absolutely, fucking lootly it was good shit. We had, we had fried, like yesterday, we had, uh, we had fried shrimp with homemade sriracha, uh, sort of spicy sauce that she makes. It's fucking brilliant, by the way. Um, we also had tuna steak. All three of us had tuna steak, because we, we, we definitely, we definitely splurged a bit. But, last but not least, and this was something me and my mom kept a secret from, uh, from our dad, we had, uh, my mom prepared mussels, and I never tried mussels, so yesterday was my first time trying to eat mussels, and my goodness, that shit was actually pretty good. A little weird, very messy to work with, but my goodness, it was, uh, it was, it was a quite, it was quite the delight, I must say. Uh, other than that, I mean, me and my dad just went around driving, uh, driving from place to place to get new, uh, New devices, new phones, new, uh, new laptops, tech, all, all, all of this, all of this kind of stuff, and we just kind of, you know, we just, we just had a good time, for the most part. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, let me guess, your father is, uh, is a pig for muscles? No, not necessarily. He's, uh, he's not... He's not a pig for muscles. That's that's for sure. It's it's uh, it's just been uh, for him and my mother. It has been an incredibly long time since they had like uh, good muscles. You know, like uh, ye like I would say maybe over a decade and a half ago, maybe longer. Like they had some really good muscles when they were in. Uh, when they were in France a long time ago. Yeah, it was many, many years. So, I can't really... Can't really... Uh, can't really say how long ago, but definitely a long time. Definitely. But it was such a long time ago that I was probably... Like, I was like... Just... Just a handful of number of years old, I think. I don't even recall. It was that long ago. They just never... They just never thought about having muscles again. And then, just one day, here we go. <laughs> here we are. Uh, you are not explaining why you are, uh, keeping it a secret from your father? And why keep it a... Eh, uh, it was supposed to be just a surprise, you know? A surprise for having a, a food that you'd ever had for such a long, long time. And plus, I mean, yesterday was Father's Day as well. So, you know. That's, that's sort of... That's sort of the point. My mom had a stupid idea. And uh, because she has a lot of time to herself, she perfects her cooking and baking skills. She's never... She's never cooked uh, mussels before. So... Might as well. And she- and it turned out fine. It turned out splendidly, in all honesty. It was... It was perfect. Whoa! Whoa! Why the hell is it- I didn't even do damage to it. God! Jesus! Frickin' bloodhounds, man. Oh, God. The El I thought the Eleanor's probably would do more damage to this thing, but apparently I just missed all of my attacks for the most part. Yeesh. Okay, okay. But, uh, let's see. Aside from that, oh, yeah. Uh... Did you watch that episode of Family Guy I mentioned? Actually, I have not. Surprisingly, I have not. A lot of things were going on over the weekend. Quite a bit. Quite a bit of things were going on from, uh, you know, just me and my family just having a good time to just... Uh, I don't know. I... <laughs> there, there was just a lot of things. Last week... Last week I was mostly... 
I was mostly just having a bad time for myself. I, I felt like I was hitting a, hitting a new low. And so the weekend just kind of brought my spirits back up again. And uh, hopefully I can keep that up this week, eh? Hopefully. But, uh, yeah, no, I never, I didn't even see the Family Guy video, apparently. Uh, what else? What else was I gonna say? God damn it, it's, there, there's, there's actually quite a bit to talk about, and I don't know how to, <laughs> how to divulge all of it. Oh, God. Uh, well, you could have taken half an hour to do so, I mean, I wanted to know your reaction. Sorry to hear that, though. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh... It's... I'm just, uh... I have, uh... Let me see here. I'm not gonna say I have ADHD, but I do have... My awareness tends to be, uh... If, if my father has a one-track mind, my attention span is on everything else that isn't on that same path as his. <laughs> uh... As, as funny as that sounds. But, uh... Yeah! Maybe I'll watch it one day. Maybe I will forget another day. It will totally happen one way or another. <laughs> uh, that's just... Uh, that's, that's the story of my life. It'll happen or it won't. One way or another. Brr. Okay, what the fuck am I doing here? Uh, no idea. Just... Purge this guy. How about we go ahead and uh, purge you? <clears throat> Yo, circus! Well, goddamn, we're 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 having a freaking party tonight. How's it going? How's it going? Oh, oh, ow, god, poison! I do love the taste of poison. T touching my lips, a familiar taste of poison. Whoa, oh God! Ah! Hi, fella. How you doing? Oh God! Well, that was a shit fest and a half. My God! Oh well. All right. I guess that's, I guess, that, yep. All right. That was that. And I'm stupid. God damn, this entire, this entire place is just being so aggressive on me today. My goodness, what do I, what do I hold to this pleasure? Ay, 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 ay. But okay, uh, let me, let me think here, let me think here. I'm not, ah, uh, well, there isn't really anything up there about that. But that bloody virgin is going to be messing me up. Okay, I have two videos. Both are a minute and a half. Here's the first one. Watch them both. I'm sure you'll find it amusing. I will certainly think about it in a hot moment. Before I figure out how to uh, not die, you know. Yeah, that would be that would be relatively smart. If I learn how to not die. Ass my god. God, no, oh, bollocks. Uh, why, why, oh, God. Oh, that's why I wanted to go back up. Yeah, that actually makes sense. I needed to go back and... Why the hell is there just a floating-ass object here? Oh, dogs, I forgot about you assholes. Yeah, nice. Good God. Uh, why the hell is there- Oh, it's a smith and stone. Well, don't mind if I do. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. This is the most chaotic opening I've had to a stream so far. So far, at any rate. Oh boy. Oh, what the crap? Don't you dare, don't you dare. You can't, you can't, yeah, that's right, dog. You can't touch this. Nope. Oh my freaking god! And Eleonora's old blade. We dance into night. Alright, finally, good. We have some some sense of balance that has been distributed into the world. Uh but no no side of great no no side of grace in in, in, in sight. 
Nope, of course not. Never, never has, never will be. Uh, how about we just go ahead and kill this guy? Uh, are we mostly at peace here? I don't, I don't think we're at peace. I just need to get to the next side of grace, which will take a hot minute, because of course it is. What the fuck? How the hell did it get? Ow! I have no idea how you got yourself in there. But, uh... Sucks to suck, virgin! Oh my god. I keep calling them iron virgins. I don't know why. Uh... Okay. Yeah, that was, that was unusual. That was incredibly unusual. Oh boy. Oh god, before I, before I forget... Over the weekend, my family also decided to buy a frickin' soda streamer. Two, almost two hundred dollars. But they also got it on a good deal, so... That was like, I don't know, forty dollars less or something. They got a pretty good deal off of that, but, uh... Yep, it's, uh... It... I, I did not know what to accept... Uh, what to expect from a soda streamer in the slightest. And, uh... Uh, so the bar was low, and then it exceeded that bar exponentially. Like, what the crap? Uh... They are Iron Maidens. They are designed to kidnap women and ch- Well, I know what an Iron Maiden is. <laughs> I, I, I am- I am intimately familiar with what an Iron Maiden is, and I know that those things are based off of that. So yes, very, very much so. Alright. Alright. I will watch the damn video. I will. Because you asked for it. I shall deliver. Huh. Which also kind of reminds me. I, I, I see that, um... Which also reminds me that a lot of people say that... That the, fir that the old family guy from season 1 and 4 or something was better than the current family guy and stuff. And that everybody takes a shit on that. I don't know. I, I, I don't really watch a lot of Family Guy anyhow, so I'm just going off of what I what I know. Anyway, let's see. And nobody is watching the video uh, with me, mostly because I don't know what kind of trouble I can get, so this is just purely for me, and I'm just gonna have my reaction plastered on the face. As you guys see, my character just kind of... Oh, I, I don't know. Not, not snap their fingers, <laughs> but uh, sit down in a pool of blood. All right, there you go. So just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the view in the meantime for the next uh, minute and 30. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Oh, boy. What the crap? Well, that's a lot of screaming. <laughs> Dead silence. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I've seen, I've, I've seen worse, alright? I have seen much worse, in my opinion. I, I don't think, uh, it's, it's definitely comedic enough, but, uh, I don't know, I think, I think I've seen much worse than that one right there. 
Oh, god damn. Alright, uh... Oh, like, Alright, back to the game then, because we gotta... Got another... One of these things to take care of. Oh, dear. Ow! This... Okay, this dickhead. Alright, so... That's... That's... Uh, that's that. Ow, 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 get out of here, get out of here. That's a, that's a death trap. You missed part two? That's all right. That's all right. I can't keep the viewers waiting that long. Can't keep the viewers waiting that long, no siree. That said, what I saw there, oh boy. <laughs> Absolute madness is what I saw. All right, kill this. Stop throwing shit at me. Let me just move on in peace. Oh, boy. All right, Oleg is a savior. Well, not really, but he does help from time to time. Okay. What else was there to talk about, though? Oh, boy. Remember Season 21, Episode 4, uh, to watch the full episode. I will most certainly try to remember it. Oh, God. Really, bro? Oh god, I'm actually gonna die. Uh! Really? Oh god. What the hell is wrong with these damn, uh... These damn enemies today? That or I'm just out of practice, which is probably the case. Um, speaking of which... <clears throat> speaking of which, out of practice... There's a game I'm totally gonna be out of practice for, and, uh... Friday! Friday, I just decided, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go ahead and stream it. I'm gonna be, uh... Oh, oh, oh god, I forgot. I forgot how, how far that, that goes. Holy... Holy guacamole. Yikes. Uh, the double-bladed weapon damage sucks. No, I am I am always gonna go ahead and use the uh I, I love twin blades. Twi twin blades are relatively fine. They are relatively fine. I played for my very first playthrough of Elden Ring, I played through with a twin blade. And I and I beat the game with a twin blade without any issues. After all, the weapon... After all, Twin Blades are not supposed to be, uh... Are not supposed to be big damage weapons with one... With... They, they don't deal big attack damage with one hit. You need to... You know... You need to keep on attacking them ever... Ever so often, you know? That's kinda how they function. Yeah, they're very... They're very, very fast and flourishy weapons. And they, they do, they get the job done. They do get the job done. Cross Nugget, uh, nada, I'm not using it. I've already used it in another playthrough. I'm not using it here. <laughs> I have no need. I've already used that weapon enough times to count. So yeah, I do like the pole blade. <laughs> well, the weapons I use do big damage and fast at the same time. Hence why I stick with, the, stick with what works. Well, you stick with what works, I stick with what works for me. What I like. I think a lot of people do that as well. And honestly, I would love to use axe weapons, though. I would love to use axe weapons, but... Uh... Even I seem to find a bit of a weakness in axe-like weapons. They're just... They just need a better move set, in my opinion. They don't necessarily work out for me. I would love to dual wield axes, but not, it's not the fantasy I'm looking for. If I want to dual wield axes, I'm just going to have to... Uh... Did that just happen? Yes, that just happened. I can't believe I got absolutely, absolutely dunked on by a freaking... All right, that's just how it is. Ow. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh Yeah. What was I talking about? Axes not being good. Right. I wish axes were good. 
Especially since I wanted our stance axes, but unfortunately, I don't know what it is. They just don't vibe with me right now. They just don't. They don't vibe with anybody as far as I'm concerned. Axes, maces, flails. Like, these, these crude weapons just seem to be more neglected than other weapons. And I mean, even the twin blades function better than those, than the axes do. So, eh, I guess it, I guess it happens. I guess so. Uh, one ha one handed axes typically one handed axes, and eh, they could they can't they could be better. Oh god! But again, every weapon sucks when fighting this dude. There we go. Good god. Ah. Uh. God, I hate those stupid whip salamander dudes. But, nevertheless, or you could go for a reaper scythe. I already have a reaper scythe, my dude. Have you not been watching my- Have you not been watching some of the videos I've been making? With this playthrough? Of course I've used a reaper scythe for a bit. Of course I did. Oh, my dude. My dude. <laughs> it works well enough. It works well enough. But I was mostly using poison for that one. Which works just fine. And look at that. This twin blade still works wonderfully. Oh, man. Uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and skip this uh, cutscene here because we don't necessarily need it. Or, well, Axe, I recommend this weapon. You recommend... Yeah, the Rosas Axe. Everybody recommends the Rosas Axe because it's the longest weapon. It's actually good. Yeah, yeah, I don't like the Rosas Axe. I really, I, I don't vibe with the Rosas Axe in all honesty. It's, it's fine. It's, yeah. It, it just, it just doesn't scream barbarian to me, you know? If I, at, at that point, at that point, if I just want to... If I just want to play, you know, with an axe, I'd rather just play D&D or Pathfinder and do a wield hand axes, and then I will have my fantasy, but uh, Elden Ring? I'm afraid not. Elden Ring just doesn't fulfill that for me in my spare time. Actually, no, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it for that reasons. Well, oh boy, what is thy reasons, sir? Hempberry of the Fields. <laughs> it is the unique spell. Oh, of course, that. I mean, I'm aware of Tibia summons. The Ash of War being better than the actual uh, sorcery known to man, but even still, like, eh. I don't know about that. I used it in PvP. It didn't really work out for me. And plus, that weapon is an intelligence-based weapon. So, I've already, I'm already done playing intelligence-based builds for the most part for a, uh, for a Let's Play. It's not really, there's not really a whole lot to talk about sorcery-wise other than, Oh my god, intelligence builds are so OP! Oh, you know, that, that sort of thing, right? That sort of thing. Okay, now, how, how do I, do I want to craft sleep pots? actually don't have I don't have a lot of container wait what uh okay I only have se seven schmevin all right I'll I'll take it I'll take it I guess <laughs> all right uh as for the weapon of choice I mean, the pole blade may actually be more beneficial here than one would imagine. Ah. Uh, well, I guess the uh, the problem is gonna be the uh, problem is gonna be Mr. Roly Poly once he goes into that second phase. So I better be bloody careful, I guess. Oh boy. Uh, don't recommend intelligence. Recommend strength. It has better scaling when maxed out. 
then the dex on intelligence. Of course it does. Of course it does. Rosas is axe just... Yeah, scaling makes no sense to me anymore. Scaling makes absolutely no sense. It's just that... It's just that weird. Oh, god damn it. All right, dickhead, here we go. See how it is. What? I completely dodged that asswipe. Oh, God. Oh, okay. That's not great. There we go. Alright. I, I don't like fighting the godskins. Last playthrough, I actually managed to fight them rather regularly, but I'm just not feeling good today. No, thank you for the godskins. <laughs> I do not respect the godskin fa- well, I love the godskin faction, the Black Flame, but not mechanically. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, God. What scaling is, upon leveling up, you can up- Oh, God, I wasn't ex I wasn't asking for a lecture on Elden Ring scaling. Oh, God. Is this what's gonna happen once I start streaming Armored Core 6 when it comes out? Oh, I'm just gonna get build recommendations. <laughs> it's... it's... <laughs> I always appreciate it, but god damn. Oh, boy. I'm not a hardcore... I'm not a hardcore gamer. At least I... I'm not anymore. I love gaming, but... Something broke inside of me. I had an arc. Somewhere. Down the line. Where I was such a good-ass gamer. But I was toxic. And that toxicity still permeates me in the deep res- In the deep recesses of- Of my very soul. Slowly, ever coming out. From time to time. And then, silence. Staying in the light, I continue to get worse and worse. <laughs> okay, I'm breaking character out of that one. I don't even fucking know what I was doing there, but all right, we're, we're going. There we go, there we go. We had some dumb impromptu lore, I guess. <laughs> Oh, that, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm cringing. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Uh, da, 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 X strength, uh, yes, you are. I'm not gonna lie, but if that axe won't work, then I have one more axe recommendation. You're gonna say the, uh, you're gonna say the fork tatchet. I swear, I swear to, the, I swear to the nine above. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, it's you. Forgive me. My mind never ceases to turn of late. Hmm. Well, I know I can trust you. I saw something slithering in the pitch black of night. It entered the room next to this one and never came out. If I'm not mistaken, it took the form of a serpent. Just like me, does the Volcano Manor hide some secret that Lady Tanith has kept from me? I realize that I shouldn't impose, but if you discover anything, would you please share? Really? Oh, so there was a secret after all. Oh my, Lady Tanith, my own mother, has deceived me. Was I not born by the grace of a king? Hmm. What is this? I remember this scent distinctly. 
Mm, funny, isn't it? I am certain of it. I was born inside this. It's a part of my birth, mother. You have my gratitude, thanks to you. I am no longer afraid. I want to know how I was born and met Lady Tanith one day. I hope to call her mother once again. This time from the bottom of my heart. Alrighty, that's enough dialogue from you. Uh, which means we're gonna have to reset the area just a bit. But yeah, the warped axe. I forgot that weapon even existed. My goodness. Oh boy. But again, again, it's not a... It's not an axe I'm looking for. At the end of the day, the hand axes don't really interest me as much anymore than, uh, than in my early days. Like, <clears throat> maybe one, maybe a one-handed axe, sure, but originally wanting to, uh, two-hand do power stance axes, that's, that's just, uh, no longer possible. That dream has, uh, long since died, <laughs> but that's okay. There's, there's always room for modifications, and maybe, maybe I will make a playthrough with an axe build. Maybe. Maybe. It's possible. Might as well... I might as well even go with, um... Might as well throw in some pyromancy in there as well, because why not? It's been a while since I've used, uh, fire incantations, so... I may as well. May as well think about that for the future, but, uh... Eh, well, I, I, I digress. At any rate, uh... Oh god, there's still so much to talk about. Uh, anything new in, in the, in gaming recently? I don't re oh god, I was watching something that I don't really recall. I mean, I guess there was somebody who talked about how Titanfall 3 was almost a thing before it was scrapped for Apex Legends, but that's not really interesting news. Overwatch 2 and Redfall still getting dunked on uh, this entire year. Um, you know, shit like that. If you follow, it cannot come. She said that to you. I should have known something was wrong. The signs were clear enough. Well, Zoraeus has placed her trust in you. All the more reason I must tell you that some things are better left unknown. Besides, no one should be blamed for their heritage. Think about it. We are resisting the ways of the Erd Tree itself. What matters one's lineage in such a crisis? Zoraya said that some things are better left unknown. Besides, no, I haven't seen Zoraya's anywhere, and she has no scouting duties now. Has she gone off in search of answers? Why won't she just listen? May I ask your aid, not as the manor's proprietress, but as Zoraya's mother? If she discovers the answer to her question, and it causes distress, have her drink this potion to purge that which would cause her pain. Yes, I know. My wish is a grave disrespect to her. No different than the Erd Tree's imposition. But I've no choice. It must be done. Oh, God. <coughs> more, uh, more exposition that I deeply, deeply love. My goodness. It, there's it ne never a dull moment. These can be one-handed. I know they're one-handed axes there, my dude. I do know that. I knew they are one-handed axes. Ah. Uh, that's why they're... That's why one-handed axes are still not... Still not great in this game, I'm afraid. And it's been a very long time since there's been, uh... Since there's been a patch update for Elden Ring. So, I don't know. Are we going to get a future patch for Elden Ring eventually? Maybe by the time the DLC comes around. But, uh, yeah, it has been quite, uh, quite a while. Quite a damn while. 
which has me a little concerned for the future of, uh, well, things like the axes and uh, bases and stuff, because they do deserve a bit more love. You know, give a bit more, more love to the one-handed blunt weapons and the... And the axes, I mean, they already gave the katanas rapiers and whatnot too much love to begin with. Like, come on. Uh, give some love somewhere else, you know? Goodness gracious. Share the love of weapon balance. Well, then again, Elden Ring always had a problem with unique weapons. There's a lot of bland looking, like, cool weapons that are just too bland sometimes. Uh Oh yeah, that's a, that's a thing. B -b -b look at the warped axe. I want you to see the benefits. Eh. Yeah, honestly, I mean, there's not a lot of videos talking about the warped axe, and I've seen my fair share of videos. Let me be real here. I've seen my I've seen my fair share. This thing is gonna start to uh, spinny doodling. All right. Ow! What the crap, man! Oh my god! Stop throwing your stupid little sickle at me! Oh god, not again, not again. Get the fuck out. Why can't I run? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, why? Okay, twice? Twice in a row? Die, there we go. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy fuck. Why did that have to get. Why did that have to be so hard? Nope, no idea. Absolutely none. No, sorry. Uh, you ever heard of unpolished gems? This one is one of them left unpolished. And this, uh... <laughs> the other one are the corrupt... Okay, okay, well, talk about, uh... Talk about your... Talk about your language, man. Talk about your profanity, my friend. Holy... Holy crap, a zoo. Ah, oh, god damn it. Not again with the damn poison. Well, well, I'm poisoned yet again. I need to equip. I need to have some faith in my life. Yes, sir, I need faith in my life. There we go. And now my faith has run dry to me. Well. Well, at the end of the day, I don't even have a warp dex to test out anyway, so. I will, uh, I will never, I will likely never know unless I actively go out of my way to actually, uh, get one sometime. And, well, it really depends on the build, too. Yeah, it really depends on the build. So, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Who knows what'll happen? Even I don't know what'll happen. Oh! Okay, so here we are, and there it is. Go ahead and get rid of this. Give me that stone, baby. I love me the- I love me stoneage. Appraising. Uh, why did that have to be so hard? That's what she said. Eh. Oh, always listen, always listen to the woman unless she's going bonkers, alright? <laughs> unless she goes vague bonkers. Apparently that's what the internet told me. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, in all seriousness, though, like, um, if you have a, if you have a female partner you trust, always listen to them. They seem to know more more things than you sometimes. And by you, I mean us as a collective. 
all right let's let's keep it real just let's keep it just a tad real here but um other times though you know be do be careful <laughs> there's always nasty people out there there's always nasty people that's why i find it hard to make friends stay single everybody <laughs> god damn where to find the warped axe? Nah, I, I don't need to find the warped axe. I mean, I know it's already dropped by the, uh, by the omens. So, uh, yeah. Oh, it's you. I'm afraid there is something I must tell you. I was an unwanted child. Born not of grace, but of a hideous ritual. Something that can never be accepted. Not by men. Nor serpents. Even Lady Tanith shouldn't accept me. I know that you have done so much for me. But I wish to ask one last kindness. Kill me. Please. I thought that I feared nothing. Free me from this accursed frame. And we're just gonna love we're just gonna let her let her live. Let her uh <laughs> let her cook, I guess. Let her cook to her own devices. I have no reason to kill uh to kill Zorias. That would be uh that would be a little too cruel, in my opinion. So uh we're not gonna do that. Oh god! Oh god, okay, so they die with uh die with one strike. All right, that's uh, that's very good to know. These guys are stupid weak. Whoa! Whoa! I've never seen that attack. Okay, I've never seen that attack happen. Why why am I so bad at this? Ow, ass wipe. Okay, there we go. Man, I never knew I was this. How long does that fight that fire lasts a long time? Holy guacamole. Kill her? No, I'm not gonna kill her. I'm not gonna kill her even even if my life depends on it. I mean I'm not I mean if we're talking like Warhammer 40k standards <laughs> Just just because Horus killed Sanguinius as a blood angel I shouldn't be killing every single thing calling them Horus <laughs> Although then again if you're then again your toaster was sabotaged by Horus so you better kill the fucking toaster kill it do it <laughs> Ow. Oh, man. Get that. Get that stupid ass out of here. There we go. God, I'm already out. God, I'm... Ugh, I'm, I'm dangerously low on healing stuff. I've been, I've been way too aggressive lately. Oh, my goodness. She wants to die. No, she doesn't want to die. In fact, if you actually let her live, if uh, if you actually want to let her, if you let her live, then wasn't there like a letter that she gives you, or she leaves behind a uh, a talisman as well? Something to that nature. At uh, at any rate, I have no reason to kill uh, to kill Zorias. It's just simply. Simply a bit too cruel, in my opinion. So, uh, best not to do it, in my opinion. And Hadouski. Alright, so where is my first victim? There we go. There's my first victim. Gonna go ahead and, uh... Oh, 
Oh god, why did I have to fight two of them at the same time, though? Why? Why, why am I cursed like this? Why am I cursed with knowledge? Yeah! Asswipe! There we go, there we go. Now we only have one left. Alright, that's manageable. And apparently I can just stab him through the door. Well, mind if I frickin' do then. Don't mind if I frickin' do. Wait, you ain't you ain't dead yet? There we go. Me said dead. <laughs> there we go. Finally, it's about time. Uh, maybe I should drink the. Uh... Yeah, yeah, that that'll give me some passive healing, so might as well. What is her name? What is her name? Oh yeah, yo. <laughs> You don't, you don't, you don't remember what her, her we're talking about Zorias, right? Or are we talking about some kind of, uh, undisclosed media that I do not know about? <laughs> uh, I always wondered how I could, I always wondered how I could go over there and get on that platform. I, I just never know. Well, not my problem. <laughs> Probably nothing too major. If I had to guess right there. Alrighty, let's uh, let's keep on keeping on. And then, uh, which way's the exit? This way, I think. Run, 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 run. I'm gonna fucking die if I don't run. didn't see her name yeah well I mean it's not like they have name tags or anything so that's that's fair <laughs> that's fair but for the most part we are eh, we are pretty much done with the volcano manor but we still have a a few things to do on Mount Gelmir anyhow so uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do that oh god I cannot wait for armored core 6 I'm totally gonna be playing that when it comes out. I mean, I never got a chance to play the Armored Core games. So... Oh god, fuck. <laughs> Ow, oh, that's half my health right there. That is literally half my health, asswipes. Alright, get out of here. Fun time's over. Fun time's over. There we go. Oh my goodness. I I've always been a mech guy. I mean, I do have a Gundam collection right over here, so that probably, uh, that probably shows my dedication to good, good mech design for the most part. But, uh, to actually find a good mech game, almost impossible, I feel. Almost impossible, I feel. I, I do recall, uh, I do recall a particular game, though. That, uh, that I actually did play. It was a, it was an interesting mech game. But uh, it was also relatively short, and the frame rate situation of that game, yeesh. Oh, that was a, that was a, it didn't get that bad, but it definitely got bad, like, at the very last level. Like, like, we're talking, like, uh, like, Earth Defense Force levels of frame rate kill, <laughs> killing. Oh, man, that was, uh, that was a whole other level of madness, I must I must say. <laughs> uh, okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and do Gelmir shit. If you- if you leave her alive and return after killing Rykard, she will have new dialogue. 
When you reset the area, she is gone and has left Datacar as well, and Zarias' letter in her place. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. That is indeed what I thought would happen. And I mean, really, it's not like she du- it's, it's, it's better if you don't give her- uh, It's better if you don't kill her or give her the potion anyway. Just because of the implication that you allowed her to live and move on from uh, who she was and let her be herself how she wants to be one of the one of the potential few happy endings for uh, for Elden Ring NPCs which we don't get a lot of let's be real here and again i am always 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 going to complain about two NPCs that deserved so much more. Nefeli, Nefeli Lou, and Dialos. Frickin' just these two NPCs. I, they, uh, I hate Dialos a lot, and I really like Nefeli Lou, but they still had a lot of missed opportunities, I'd say. Like, for instance, I mean, this is, I guess this is just a personal nitpick for me, but, like, Nefeli Lu should have been, should have had a greater story near the end of Elden Ring. Maybe even a potential marriage option, like, like in Dark Souls 3, you know? With, uh, with Honory, right? Oh, man. Well, maybe not as gruesome as the Honory situation from Dark Souls 3, but... Still, like, that would have been more, that would have been more, a lot more interesting to just, to become Elden Lord and rule alongside Nefeli Lu. Uh, but, I mean, then again, technically speaking, she still gets a happy ending nevertheless because she becomes the, uh, the ruler of Stormvale Castle. Just like, uh, just like the, uh, just like good old Hora Lu before her, so, uh, Eh? I don't know. That's one of my nitpicks. And then Dialos. Fucking Dialos. Oh, man. It would have been such an interesting revenge plot, you know? God, it would have been such a good revenge plot. If only he wasn't so easily dismayed and portrayed as a fucking weakling. Ah, just... Like, I can sort of understand what they were trying to go for with Dialos' character and story. Like, they could have done it a little more differently. Like, you, you wanted to, you wanted, you wanted to grit your hands? You should have, oh, jeez. You, you should have just gone further with his concept and not let him die to some frickin' bandits in Jarburg. Uh, just, uh, I'm, I'm always gonna complain about that. It's just, it's just a little. D Dialysis' little quest line is just stupid. Oh man. Hello, pumpkin head. And, wow, that was a long-ass wind-up time. Ah, you got my favorite bow, the pulley bow. Has burst damage and shoots in a group of three. Uh, is that so? I always wondered if the pulley bow was any good, but, uh... I never got a... Never... Never really gotten a chance to, uh... Research the, uh, the pulley bow. Uh, if you say it's interesting, then maybe it is. Taken, that's all it takes. Yeah, it's 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 always one fucking mistake. Oh god. I hate these things so much. There we go. Go ahead and perish. Bada bing and uh bada boom. 
scavenger sword. Uh, okay. What else can we talk about? What else can we... Right. But so, Friday, everybody. Friday's gonna be a little different. I'm gonna be go... I'm, ugh, I tried to talk about this earlier, but I think I got distracted. I'm gonna be go... I'm gonna go ahead and play a different game on Friday. Something brand new. Uh, I played this game in my off time, but I just haven't finished it yet, and I just thought to myself, you know what? Might be more fun if I stream it. And, uh... You know, some of the hype died down just a bit, but that's okay for me. I like it when that happens. I don't know why, but I just do. And uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be streaming uh, Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun. It's just a it's just a good game. I'm not very good at boomer shooters, mind you. S hell, some people may not even call uh, Bolt Gun a boomer shooter, but I I I don't know what else to call it. Just a just calling it a generic FPS just sounds wrong to me, though. But, uh, eh, alas. What, what can one do, I guess? Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I've been, I've been in a very, very big, like, Warhammer 40k, uh, pit hole lately. Just, I just like Warhammer 40k. It's really cool. It really is. If I had the skill, I would buy myself an army. And paint them up. Hell, I would I would customize my own miniatures if I actually had the uh, the crafting skill, but I just don't. <laughs> I just don't. Uh, not to mention uh, the new rules are coming out for tenth edition of uh, of the tabletop too. So that's also something interesting to uh, to think about. There's been a lot of people complaining about the about tenth edition. Well, a lot of people complaining, and praising, and just overall just a lot of confusion for, 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 for that. It's, it's really, it's like, I, I don't, I, there's, I feel like there's just more negativity for 10th, 10th edition than positivity. And no smart part to the fact that, well, Games Workshop just likes to fuck around and find out, I guess, a lot. Oh my god, is this guy for real? He is for real. Yes, he is. Okay, so he's just gonna... Okay. I can't parry this guy, apparently, today. Nope. No siree. Fair, fair, fair game. Uh, Polypo. I, I, I don't need to look at... I, don't, I really don't need to look at the links. I already know... I know every single weapon in bloody existence. I just, uh... Oh, God! <laughs> Surprise! Surprise laying down, soldier, out of nowhere! My goodness, I did not expect that. <sighs> that was, uh, that was mighty surprising. Hey! And as she blows, my friend, as she blows. The eye of you, log. Log. I don't know. Now you see why I like spears? They have high DPS and, at and attack fast, and if you are good enough, you would not get attacked very often. Eh. I mean, twin blades are still relatively fast anyway. And once again, I've used enough spears. I've I've certainly used enough of uh, enough spears to last me a lifetime in this game. And plus, once again, use whatever the hell you want in this game. Nobody should be a should be a gatekeeper to what kind of playstyle you should you should play or not play. In all honesty. That's, that's always gonna be, uh, that's always gonna be top priority. If you enjoy a particular weapon type over another, that's, that's what you should prioritize. I'm not a very meta person. I just, I'm just, I'm just a casual guy looking to have fun, and that's, uh, that's all she wrote, really. That is all she wrote. Because if I do... If I decide to play anything meta, oh god. I don't know, it's like... 
It's fun for a while, and it may get boring after another while. Or just, or the toxicity of the community, I guess. I don't, I, like, oh god, and this is, this is something that's been going on with Armored Core 6. There's, ever since Elden Ring came out, and now more gameplay footage has been coming out of uh, Armored Core 6, there's just been a lot of gatekeepers, uh, just sort of, you know, appearing one day, you know? There's, there's, uh, there's a lot of people that's been, uh, insulting other players for enjoying the things they like and playing it the incorrect way. There's, there's been a lot of that, uh, toxic, uh, gatekeeping going on. But then, here's another interesting thing that I just discovered. Uh, people who are actually defending... So, basically, for Armored Core 6, people have been complaining about how the gameplay has been soulsified, so to say. And there was even a video that I saw, which uh, talked about... Uh, well, it, which talked about the people not... Uh, it, which talked about defending the Armored Core community's opinion about, uh, about how FromSoft has soulsified the, uh, uh, Armored Core 6 and whatnot, and, I mean, I didn't- I chose not to watch it, because at the end of the day, the game is still gonna be good. And, I mean, FromSoft is still taking a pretty, pretty big risk in releasing a game that nobody ever wanted many, many years ago for a niche audience at the time. Not to mention, the Souls mechanics of the Souls games, it was already mentioned that they would implement things that they learned from the Souls games into their new Armored Core game, and it does show. And I mean, it's not like people are complaining about how fast you can turn with the mech, how, how there's a lock-on feature, even though Armored Core did have a lock-on, and funny enough, Armored Core uh, players, some Armored Core players never even knew that some of the old Armored Core games even had a lock-on mechanic. It's wild. And honestly, I mean, people are entitled to their opinion. That's fine. It's, it's gonna, it's gonna be like that, but I think we shouldn't judge judge a game solely, solely by footage at that point. Solely by the footage. Like, we need, we need people, here's the thing, or either, um, uh, how do I say it? Or word of mouth that people say, yeah, it's good, and, and, uh, actually playing the game yourself to make a well-educated opinion on the game. Is it fun? Is it not? So on and so forth. People seem to care too much about, um... Ah, oh, man, now it's reminding me of, a of another video I saw about what makes a franchise, a game franchise, a game franchise. Espe like, Resident Evil is a perfect example. Like, you have... It, because it all started out with a top-down view of, uh, like a... It was like a third-person top-down view, locked uh, corridor gameplay. I don't—I forgot what the genre was called. Then, once Resident Evil 4 came out, you had an over-the-shoulder third-person shooter perspective. And then, once Resident Evil 7 came out, you had a first-person survival horror kind of aesthetic. Each, all three of these types of game uh, gaming. Uh, modes, let's call them, had a very different vibe, and yet all of them are still considered Resident Evil. You know? Resident Evil 2, uh, Resident Evil 4, and then Resident Evil 7, all encompassing uh, the perfection of these three, of these three uh, forms for their franchise. And they were done well. Uh, and then you had games that were chasing trends that didn't work out, and then they returned back to their formula later on. But still. Uh, I don't know. Games are games. As long as a game is fun, then that's what matters. But then you also get the question of, 
is this a good blank game or is this a good or is this a good game because the moment you give it a name is this a good assassin's creed game is this a good call of duty game then you're basing it on precedents of the previous titles Ugh. so uh yeah the, the 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 modern video game scene is just weird at this point interesting discussions but too much toxicity to even have a good discussion these days oh man oh really stop and then i'm just gonna go ahead and do this and we're done <laughs> Sorry, you fell asleep, Sarka. Yeah, that's perfectly acceptable. That's totally normal. Maybe you need to, uh, maybe you need to, you know, uh, back it in so sooner or later, my dude. Oh, man. Hopefully you're doing all right, man. I mean, I understand last night, uh, traveling the seven seas gave you a freaking heart attack. But, my dude, get, get, get that, get that rest. Oh, man. But anyway. Oh, I was talking to, uh, I was talking to the other, uh, uh, to the other, the other fella here in chat here. Don't worry, hemp. But, uh, yeah. At any rate. At any rate. Uh, what else to talk about? What else to talk about? Uh, come on. All right, get these guys out of the way. I don't know why I'm fighting these guys. I don't even need to fight them. Oh, good grief. woo -hoo -hoo! All right, let's just get to the side of grace, and then we'll have to deal with a new problem. And uh, what about your questions? Uh, man, I missed a lot of things. I certainly missed a lot of things. No, uh, that's what happens when I get into a uh, when I get focused on uh, on a subject. Uh, uh, I've only tried one whip in my life. I certainly am. I'm certainly planning to give, uh, give the, uh, what are they? The rose petals? No, I forgot what they're called. The Hoslo whip petals I try in this, uh, in this playthrough. So that's something to look forward to, uh, in the near future. Certainly. That's why I'm kind of doing the Alice's quest line. Uh, spear weapons are the shit, period. I know. I've used them enough times. Uh, well, do you see me insulting you or gatekeeping? No. No, no, no. I just, uh... I just don't need any more weapon suggestions in my, uh, in my humble opinion. I am very much well, uh... Well aware of a lot of weapons. What I could use. What I shouldn't use. What I don't want to use. What I want to use and future ideas for playthroughs using said weapons or spells and whatnot. I just, uh... If I got something going for me right now, then I'm perfectly satisfied with what I got. So I'm not necessarily, I'm not necessarily looking for any, uh... any further, uh, weapon suggestions at the time. At, as, of, as of this time. At least until the DLCs come out. After which, then, I will just discover all of them eventually. <laughs> Anyhow, so, uh... Yeah. Okay, what are we... Only one level? Damn. And that's not, a. Uh... Hold on. Can we, uh... Can we squeeze in another level with, uh... No, I don't think we can squeeze another level with runes. So that would be... That would be unfortunate. Ah, do we just go in dry? Eh, we might go in. Well, no, we'll, we'll level up. It's only one point. Might as well. As of... Let's see, what else do we got? Time to level up. Got too many runes. Only one level's worth. Eh, I got something wrong. Get that. First off, it has the longest range. Yep. 
I would go to upgrade your shit with the rest of the runes. Eh, I don't really have much anyway. Most of my shit is relatively well off. I only have one smithing stone seven anyhow. But, uh... Eh, might as well upgrade the bloody healers. Why not? Well, I took you no man to lay out your arm. Bloody healers. Yeah. Yeah, it's pr it's practically my primary weapon, the bloody healers. Although, although the pole blade. Oh god, I could upgrade the pole blade. And I might as well upgrade the Reduvia because I do use it from. Well, no. Uh. Ah. Yeah, 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 bloody healers. There we go. Ooh. Well, there we go. Bloody healers is now a plus, plus nine. I forgot I had those other stones there. Ooh, boy. At any rate. I'll save this, I'll save the six for later. Because... Reasons. I got nothing else to upgrade. Well, eh, I could upgrade that. But uh, it's not my priority. Katana is not really. Uh, I should probably replace the Ash of War on the site at any rate. Go ahead and give it that uh, that poison quality. There we go. Uh, anything else? I have no need to duplicate anything. All's well with the world. All right, let's go ahead and. Uh, Go ahead and fight the Falling Star Beast. <clears throat> Go ahead and fight the Star Beast. God damn it, I'm actually kind of... I'm actually feeling kind of hungry right now. Ooh, boy. I could use a nice little snack eventually. Maybe a nice, uh... Maybe a nice sandwich. I gotta, I gotta watch what I eat nowadays, though. Unfortunately. I don't like it, but I, I I have to. I've been get I've been I've been snacking a little too hard lately. Oh man. Let's see. The bloody he listen. I recommend more. Well, yeah. I mean, the bloody healers is one of my favorite weapons. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not gonna ignore it. At any rate, here we uh, here we go. Sorry, dude. Oh, man. All right. Why can't I jump off my thing? Come on. Oh, God. I freaking hate this dude so much. This guy's gonna be a dick. Ooh, okay. What? How the fuck? Oh, no, 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 no. You're not doing this to me. No! Oh, come on! You were focusing on my dude there. Well, that's... That's gonna suck. Why? Why can't I see that attack? Oh, my God. That's... That's a little annoying. That's definitely annoying. I was just at the tail edge. I was just at the tail edge of this damn dude. Okay. Oh, God. Oleg is actually getting... Actually getting, uh... Royally fucked! Oh, okay. So that... That just... Uh, that just decided to say, Hey, fuck you. All right. I love the Star Beast. I love the Star Beast. Could you stop hitting my friend here? Ah, uh, you know what I should have used? I should have used poison. I should have used poison. Yeah, that's what I should have done. I'm a moron. Yeah, 
Yeah, I should have used poison. Poison would have been so much easier. This is fun. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can... Maybe I can finish him off with Bloodblade. There's definitely an easier way to fight that thing, but God damn. Uh, I just I just didn't have the right weapons for the right job. I really I really made that fight harder than I needed to. I <laughs> got umba. What time do we get? Uh, it's still relatively early. Cleaned up Mount Gelmir relatively nicely. All we have left is the uh well, yeah, all we have left is the hero's grave, which, uh, I, uh, I don't know how, I don't know how I feel about that. The hero's grave is not something I want to tackle. Yeah. Yeah, I got him with the poison after all. I, I had some time, so I could switch on over just a bit, but nevertheless. Nevertheless. Ooh, maybe now we can, uh. We can go ahead and spend the runes, and we might just might be able to level up again here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and feel this way here. Feel this way? God damn. I got, I got a lot of Sonic songs in my head right now. Oh yeah, we got plenty of, plenty of opportunities here. Let's go ahead and, uh, Put that point into dexterity, and that's probably going to be the last point in dexterity I'll put. At least for now. Uh, I definitely want to focus on, uh, on a bit more vigor, uh, next. Vigor for sure. Endurance! I definitely want to get endurance someday. Eh, uh, eventually. But yeah, vigor will be my next, uh, point of interest. I never have enough. I never have enough. I'm already a bad enough player as it is. Okay, so with that being said, though, I guess we gotta do the hero's grave next. Not a fan of it, but here we go. This might be the last thing we do today, too. Might be. Let me go ahead and get my... Eh... Uh... Yeah, we're gonna get the we're gonna get the pole blade back. I do enjoy it. Uh yeah, I do actually need a fast weapon, so pole blade it is. Ah well, I could just use the dagger too. Not a big deal, but alright. Let's just uh let's just go ahead and yeah. <laughs> okay! Jeez! <laughs> cutting it close there! Really cutting it close! Alright, 
gotta, gotta keep, gotta keep on moving on. Uh, I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna wait over here. Ah, uh, maybe I should've gone right after that. Yeah, probably. How much time do I have? Ah, uh, that's a lot of time, though. Okay. Okay, so maybe we'll, uh... God damn, I, I don't really know which way to, to let it go. Now I'll let it go. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. This might be wrong. This might be wrong! No! Ow, stupid skeleton! Of all the times, right now, you had to do that to me. All right, then once it turns around, then we can, uh, and we can just run through. And no, I am not getting the, uh, the meme weapon. I just have no tolerance for this location. Period. All right, no tolerance, no bullshit. Uh, I do love me the Reduvia. I am not approaching your stupid ass with your torch. Are you kid? Really, dude? Yeah, that get get styled on. <laughs> uh, wait, why did I turn it off? God damn it, seek! Use your head. Use your head more. Oh man. Okay. Get penetrated with style. Eh, that's basically... Yeah. No, uh, no better way to phrase that, honestly. No better way to phrase that at all. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Ha <laughs> ha! Get burned, baby! Sucks to suck! <laughs> oh, that was... <laughs> Page getting flambéed right there. Hell yeah. Uh, okay, I am gonna go ahead and get a bow here. Alright. And uh, oh, there we go. And there we have that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Give me back my pole blade, bitch. There we go. Yeah, ba da ba doo. Da 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 da. <laughs> it sucks it sucks to be a burn victim, isn't doesn't it? Really does. That was a little too dark. That was a little too dark. Oh god, Jimmy Carr would have done a better job with the dark jokes. I am not a dark joke connoisseur. I'm a dark I'm a dark joke connoisseur, but I'm not a dark joke uh creator, that's for sure. Alright, how the fuck am I gonna do this? I'm gonna draw you out. Elden Ring Intelligence, everybody. Elden Ring Intelligence. <laughs> What's the point of me using daggers to aggro my enemies if they're going to be stuck behind a wall? Uh, oh, my God. That's that's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, that's just peachy, isn't it? I'm just gonna aggro the other one, too. Why not? Budge! Okay, asswipe, stop it. There we go. Oh, my God. We, we done here? Good. We're done. Oh my god. Yeah, gr gr great, great AI design right there. Oh god, I'm only... Now I'm starting to wonder how FromSoft is gonna make, uh, Armored Core 6. Ooh! I forgot about that! I forgot about that! 
Okay, so what exactly do I do here? That's a good question. I have no fucking clue. Uh, right, we actually have to go down, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh god, I remember this part. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh god, no, I fucking hate that. Oh god, I hate that so frickin' much. Raptor ahead, yeah, no kidding. I love this dude. Okay, 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 okay. Do not get screwed over by the, uh, by the Bloodhound, and we got two armor sets for free. Easy peasy. I know there's also another weapon I can get in this place, but, uh, it's not, it's not worth it. <laughs> it's, it, the, the trade-off is not, gr not, not great. Alright, here we go, then. Uh, jump up here. And we'll just have to wait for the next pass. But, uh, this is gonna be... This'll be a little... Uh, this'll be a little brutal. Woo! First try! Let's go! Sailing the seven lava pools. Woo, let's go. Let's keep on keeping on. Come on, climb up, climb up, climb up, climb up. Do not get, do not get hit. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I'm so happy we got that done and over with. You guys have no idea how relieved I am. To do this place first try is, uh, not an easy task. You require a lot of cojones for that. <laughs> Oy vey. But okay. Uh, without further ado, you know what? I am gonna summon. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and summon Oleg for this fight because I hate fighting the Red Wolf. Red Wolf can suck my nuts. Look at that. Wow. Okay. I, ju I just don't like the Red Wolf. At all. I think the Red Wolf just... SUCKS! There we go. I I'm not dealing with this- with this- with a boss fight I already fought once already. I really don't need that in my life. Period. And what time is it? Uh, oh god, we still have so we can do so many things, but I feel like we are in a very good position anyhow. Or uh Yeah, we are really we are in a really good but Yeah, you know what? We got to check up on uh we got to check up on Dialos, hopefully. Going to go back to Jarburg and uh see what's what here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. Oh, hello again, Cuz. Have you heard? A new potentate's come to the village. I think he said his name was Dialos. He seems a little down in the dumps, but his hands as smooth as silk. I don't know. I'm a little disappointed, actually. Even though good Sir Dialos has a wonderful suit of armor, he says he isn't a warrior. And since he's a coward, he won't be fighting anymore. His smooth and silky hands feel nice when he pats us. But I wish we had a potentate big and strong like you. Well, considering you just said that our hands are not silky and smooth, well... That's why we aren't. I are we aren't your potentate, buddy. Ay ay ay. Well, 
Aren't you full of beans? No wonder you're covered in muck. Alrighty, here we are. Let's just go ahead and let this play out here. Oh, my friend, it's been far too long. I have to say you caught me at a rather low point. But as you see, I've put all that behind me. Left the volcano manor, forging my own path now, making my own choices. Even a fool like me can look after some simple jars. Do you pity me? Well, don't. I feel like for the first time in my life, I'm on the straight and narrow. A fool I may be, but I can look after some simple jars. Do you pity me? Well, don't. Ah. Uh. God damn it! Work with me, stupid computer. All right. Uh, so that's 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 all well and good then. I'm just trying to remember what else we can do. Ah, oh, you know what we can do? I don't think I've uh, I don't think I've defeated the uh, uh, what you call it the bell bearing hunter yet. At least this one here in Kaelid. Uh, well, we're about to find out at any rate. Maybe this is the last thing we're gonna do. I don't know. At least give it a couple of attempts. This thing hits like a truck, though. Yeah, there. Yeah, there it is. This thing is gonna. This thing is gonna fucking suck, though. Never mind, that did not go very well. I need a drink, I need a drink. Woo! Yeah. Nope, that did not end very well. No! Oh, I thought I dodged it. No, I did not. And then, not enough speed, not enough speed. God, I fell for it. <laughs> All right, well. No! Oh, God! No, we're dead. Oh, we're, we're so... Wait a second, you were not supposed to do that. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, well, we're dead. Yeah, what's the... Yeah, there, there goes my healing flasks. I... F fuck this dude. Seriously. Oh my fuck! Yeah, w yeah, this is a lost fight here. I'm afraid. That's uh, I lost too many healing flasks for that one, chief. Way too many healing flasks. Yeah. Just what a stupid. That was, that was way too close for comfort. Butt clench at the maximum. Puckered up. Just, just, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow, okay. Told you you would kill him. Ah, oh, man, I, 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 I need, I need the person, I need, uh, I need you, I need the person inside of you that believes in, in oh god no hold on what's the phrase i need the person i need the one who be uh, 
you know what? Never mind. I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't replicate that. That. Uh, that dumb wisdom. <laughs> that dumb wisdom talk. I need the person who believes in me that you believe in. There we go. That's that's what I meant to say. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Well, without further ado, though, we are in a very good position now. For uh, for next time, at any rate. First try. Yeah, first try. I mean, I'm surprised myself. Even I didn't expect to, uh, to succeed so, uh, so, so, so well. That fight, though, still. I just hate the bell-bearing hunters, though. I never like their moveset. I, they are interesting, but they just seem more reactionary, you know? They, they, they just kind of suck. They suck to fight. Not very enjoyable, just... They're just there to piss me off. You know, that kind of enemy and whatnot. Yeah, never was a big fan of the Bell Bearing Hunters in particular. My least favorite boss fight. My least favorite boss fight uh, type, aside from the Red Wolves. The Red Wolves? I don't know what it is. Fast enemies like that that don't give me any breathing room? No, I don't like that. They're, they're not very fun. You, 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 you either focus on defending, you focus on dodging, and don't attack at all, or you try to attack, and heal, and then you just get, you just get absolutely murked on. <laughs> oh, man. That's, there, there's, there's just, uh, there's no in-between with those, with those kinds of boss fights. Oh, but, okay. Okay, then. I think we are we are in a pretty good position. We can uh, next stream we can easily start off uh, Ronnie's quest line. Well, not Ronnie's quest line, but we can go ahead and start. Uh, we can start off. We can start with Nokron, then do doing all of Ronnie's shenanigans. Yeah, that'll be a good uh, hour, two hours right there. Yeah, maybe. Who knows. But at any rate, we're gonna go ahead and uh, call it a night then. For those of you who stopped on, stopped on by, thank you so much. And for those of you who are just lurking around and you, you want to see more of this kind of content in the future, consider following me, following me here on Twitch. Let's me know you enjoy the stuff I make. And, well, you get to hang out with me whenever the hell you want. Get notified uh, of every time I stream and all of that jazz. We're almost at 50 followers, believe it or not. No idea how that's even a thing, but that is a thing. We are almost there. So, uh, I would greatly appreciate your support, everybody. Additionally, if you miss any, any of my former streams, or just want to watch some dumb shit, <laughs> dumb shit, consider, uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel over at Zeke720. You can also type in the handle at Zeke7206. I will get to you, Mr. Hempberry. I will. Don't worry. I just need to finish up this, uh, the usual bullshit I gotta spew out, uh, like, uh, like my dog's vomit earlier in the day. <laughs> God, of course my dog vomited earlier in the day. Why wouldn't she? Ugh. Uh, so, YouTube channel, Zeke720, or at Zeke7206. Subscribe, favorite, comment, all that shebang. Whatever you want. That's your choice. Last but certainly not least... Keep up with all of my announcements over on my Twitter account. Yes, that that cesspool of a hive mind that is Twitter. You can keep up at 720Zeek for any future announcements that I may or may not make, essentially. Or if you just want to DM me for the lols, go right ahead. Uh, let's see, last minute talk. Let's say, uh, by the way, before you leave, I got a joke. Oh, God. Let's, let's do this thing. What do you call a belt that has a watch attached to it? Oh, God. Hold on. Hold on. This one seems way too obvious. Uh, what do you call a belt that has a watch attached to it? That is a... Wait. Wait. 
Oh, God, don't tell me it's a pocket watch. I swear to God. <laughs> I, I, I'm just gonna say pocket watch, because that's the only thing that comes to my mind. Oh, God. I'm go I will be... I will be very, very disappointed at whatever the answer is to this joke. <laughs> but lay it on me, what is it? I did say pocket watch. A waste of t Oh, God. Okay, a waste of time. Much like a... Much like a hat in time. <laughs> Although a hat in time is a pretty good, pretty good little indie game, though. That much is, that much is a, that much is certain. I've always wanted to play that game, though. Whenever I saw it, it, it it's, it, although, uh, platforming isn't necessarily my, my kind of game, though. And I did play Crash Bandicoot 4. And yet I didn't necessarily like platformers. Well, at any rate, that's it for tonight. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're coming back with more chivalry action. That's right. Oh, man, I can never get enough of chivalry this time around. Chivalry is just fun. I'm not very good at it, but we're gonna have fun nevertheless, doing more crusading. Have a good night, dude. Thank you. Thank you, Henberry, and thank you, everybody else. I hope you all have a lovely night. Tomorrow, more chivalry to action. And uh, be sure to come by on Friday. Warhammer 40k bolt gun. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Guarantee it. Oh, man, I cannot wait for that. But, at any rate, thank you again. We're gonna call it off now. God, I never know how to end these streams, goddamn. Cheers, everybody. I hope to see you all next time. Bye bye <laughs>